Let's jump to the wall here, and today we've got a rating your one man doom stack playing as RK on the ever chosen while he's on foot. Now, I think what he's managed to do here is essentially make RK on perfect. I can't really see any way that RK on could get any better. He's got the Sword of Cain dominating, which is totally fine for the Warriors of Chaos. Um, the Armor of Morka, Eye of Shireen. He's got the Book of Ashur for 25 Winds of Magic. And he's also got the other's Trickster Shard, which will reduce the magic resistance of uh, all of those guys around him. Like I said, he's also on foot. He's got the Mark of Cinch on there. He's got 82% ward save, 30% physical resistance, and 35% magic resistance. So essentially full capped. And he's also got Isabella's trait over here. He's got regen. Um, huge stats on everything. Let's uh, see how we go. So we're not going to lightning strike this. We're just going to... Yeah, let's going to see. So I think the main thing here is to see, is Archeon alright on foot, or should he really have Dorgo? Because... The problem with Dorgo is that he's a horse. He, he's definitely a lot smaller than what he should be. Because Dorgo is really supposed to be like a demon that's really in the shape of a dwarf. Uh, of, a, of a horse, sorry. <laughs> shape of a dwarf. Um, but the problem is horses in this game actually make uh, combatants weaker. They just give you extra speed. Uh, the reason that they make you weaker is because they increase your size. And what that means is it makes your hit points, uh, sorry, your hitbox bigger. Which means more units can shoot you, more units can hit you, so it makes you more vulnerable. Now, the smaller you get, the harder it is to hit you, and so you become more resilient to damage. So, already he's not taking very much, but uh, being a tiny, tiny entity, uh, it, only like four entities can attack him at once. So, he just can't take damage. This is why Grom Brindle was so good. But... The biggest downside to being on foot is getting knocked down all the time. Because when they get knocked down, they can't initiate any attacks, and it can just be very disruptive. But he's also a spellcaster, so we've got uh, Flamestorm, we've got 190 Winds of Magic. Archeon doesn't get a um, Arcane Conduit, so I think maybe giving him... Instead of the Book of Ashur, maybe... I don't know, I wouldn't want to give him the Wand of Jet, because that would uh, delay the sort of Cane ability. Anyway, let's just see what happens. I imagine most of the casualties we're going to inflict will be because of magic. It wasn't quite a f oh my god, look at this. Look at this. No, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> it's how much damage does that do? 20,000? Cool. Yeah, have some more. Also, those Luminarchs, uh, they're going to have a really hard time to hit us now. Because, yeah, they're going to be obstructed. Unless, unless we've got, they've got a cleaner shot on us like this. Just gonna try to get in on them. <laughs> Whoops! Oh my god. Oh my god! Kill it! Yeah, see, getting knocked down is a bit of a problem. But he still managed to get at them, even though we're on foot. Come on, come on, come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Because he's um, reducing our recharge rate. Did I just one-shot kill that? Nice! Oh, we're not being affected by it anymore. Oh, damn it. Yeah, even with 90% resistance, like, these ones do so much damage that it can still do quite a lot. <laughs> what's, what's he doing? Come on, get over here. What's this? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of him. Gonna let us move. Oh, 
Alright, that guy's got glittering scales, so it would be better not to kill him, but to shatter him and just let him go. Come on, just attack something to just sit there and look at it. He's going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Big charge, and it's gone. Wait, no, it's not. One more hit. How did we kill that other one in one hit? It must have got hit by its own Illumina. Uh, a fireball won't destroy that. Still got a decent uh, recharge rate. Doesn't seem like the other Luminarchs are affecting it now. Maybe I should just not bother with them. Because that's the main reason why I'd want to get rid of them. Okay, let him go, let him go, let him go. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Let him go. Oh, he's not going to break. Mm. Alright, just kill him. Hopefully this doesn't still apply. One more hit. He's having a hard time getting at it. Need one hit on him. Could use a fireball, but at this close range, I find it to be really ineffective. Okay, now would be a good time to shoot a fireball at him. Go, 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 quick! Come on! Oh, oh, what happened there? Yeah, he won't shoot it while he's... Come on, shoot it! No. They just shot at him. Well, one thing about him being on foot, he's definitely really derpy, but... In terms of damage... Yeah, we've still got loads of regen left. And they're really having a hard time getting us. Like, they just, they're just obstructed. That's completely used up. Oh no, that's, uh, that's Volkmar, that's not a, um, Luminarch. If I kill him, that might cause him to run away. Yeah, you just gotta watch out for cavalry constantly doing that stuff, but... That looks... Uh, that's actually probably gonna be pretty shit. Yeah, they were already out of the way. Uh, this is kind of chasing after them. But that's okay, it doesn't cost much. Well, that might make them walk into the flames. A little bit. Just a little bit. I uh, just missed out on the big prize there. So yeah, you can see he's just not really taking damage. The only thing that was really doing damage on him was the bloody steam tank and the um, the Luminarch. Let's see if I can finally get to it. Yeah. If he was on horseback, it'd be a lot easier to dodge it, for sure. Come on, this should destroy it. Good, okay. There's still another Luminarch. At least that one's gone. Alright, 
I don't really care too much about their infantry. They're just a uh, waste of time. They're going to do no damage to us, and it's just not really... Not really fun to just sit there fighting infantry. It's really more of a case of... They're an obstacle for us to get through so that we can get at the uh, Luminarch. <laughs> what are you shooting at? Whose side are you on? One more hit, come on. All right, steam tank next. Yeah, see, that wouldn't happen if you're on Dorga. Steam tanks are a little bit harder to dodge than Luminox. All right. So in total, we've lost about half of our regen health so far. We also started off the battle tired. Uh, not tired, a little bit damaged. He doesn't have perfect vigor. Come on, let's get rid of this. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, take this out, and then there's fireball him. Because it should only take one fireball to get him. Okay. Since when is this guy a Black Hawk that believes that he's invincible? Did I end up killing the enemy general? I don't think I did. Yeah, dude, they're just completely ignoring Archeon now. Okay, I think maybe a Burning Head might actually be better. Because they've got a lot of fairly light units, and it should cause leadership problems, maybe getting them to leave the battlefield. It's also cheaper. It's not going to be an amazing one there, just relatively fresh unit. Take it out. Alright, let's go after Volkmar. He's another one with the, that we have to deal with at some point, so we might as well deal with it now. Yeah, out of the way. So, Volkmar doesn't want anything of what we're bringing here. And that's fine. I don't need my sword to strike you down. Good, that was a decent flame storm there. We destroyed the steam tank, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, I got rid of the steam tank. There's still another Luminarch around, isn't there? I don't know, they're still bringing in reinforcements. The thing is with Volkmar, we kind of need to really... If we're going to fight him, we need to finish him off because he's going to regenerate. How much magic have we used up? About half. Yeah, he's a fairly chunky boy too. He's got a lot of um, a lot of resistances. Kind of just have to hope that that's going to go in the right direction when they're moving erratically like this. No, I don't want to. I don't want to kill him because it'll. Present a permanent debuff. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I think Archeon needs glasses. He might be at like 0 0.1 hit points or something like that. I think they do actually have fractions. Or well, maybe they actually need to get to negative hit points in order to actually die. It's just so rare that you'll actually see that. Out of the way, out of the way. We don't want glittering scales debuff. No, no, just wait. So we have to kill him when he's outside of our range, outside of the range of the glittering scale. So if we kill him right now, that might be applied permanently, which is irritating. No, he's getting too close. To the thing there.
Yeah, the problem is, while we're in melee, fireball is kind of a tricky one to use. Move over to that. Do it. Alright, if that hits him, it should kill him this time. If it hits him. There we go. Got him. And no perma debuff. Alright, cool. See, so yeah, Volkmar bloody recovered all the damage that we did to him. It's just being a complete nuisance. So, still, I haven't really taken much damage. Uh, that was... That was pretty good, actually. That went back and, and got him. So you can see that these great swords are just doing nothing. He's got too much melee defense. Looking at their melee attack, they've got like no chance of actually hitting him. Even the guns aren't bothering to shoot him anymore. Yeah, Volkmar is still a bit of a problem because he's buffing up their units a bit. Kinda looks like a good opportunity for a burning head there. Go all the way down this line. And kinda looks like they're just gonna keep walking into it. There's really no excuse for this guy here. He would have seen it coming in from ages away. Okay, I don't think we're far off the army losses, and once the army losses have been inflicted, Volkmar will have, have no choice but to come and fight us. So yeah, he's recovered all the damage we did to him, but he doesn't have that much regen he can draw from. So we can see exactly how much damage they're doing, next to nothing. Each shot's doing like one damage. This is without perfect vigor. If he did have per perfect... I don't know, how are you going to get Archeon perfect vigor though, because... The way to get it is with the campaigner trait. I don't know if um, Chaos can get it. Oh, another steam tank's come in. Just running them down to recharge the sort of cane ability. There we go. Alright, let's go for the steam tank. There's no good casts to be done here. They're, they're too spaced out. That's about as good as we could have hoped for. Alright, I gotta get myself over to here. Try to kill that. Through here. Best to move at it in a zigzag. Just a lower chance of getting hit, but the closer you get, the harder it is to dodge. I'll go with this and just hope it hits something. I don't think we've killed their general yet, because otherwise... No, no, we did. We did. No, they're just on very hard battle difficulty. They just... They won't rout. Even with, like... No health remaining, they just won't rout. 
Because they've all got tons of experience as well. Part of the problem with the leadership system in Warhammer 2 is that trying to get units to rout is not viable unless you really put in a big effort to basically apply leadership debuffs before the battle begins with uh, traits such as um, Pompous, Dread Incarnate, Fear of Nurgle Stink, that kind of stuff. There's another Luminarch over there. And yeah, it's providing the debuff to us, so we got to get rid of it. But it's gone really wide around. Kind of looks like they're going to corner camp. That's fine. Oh man, actually got me. Even from this distance. Yeah, hard to dodge it when we're on foot, that's for sure. It's way easier if you're on a flying mount or um, on a horse. Because the Luminarch shots, they uh, they don't predict where you're going to be. They shoot at where you are, but they can kind of home a little bit. So, if you're fast enough that you can outrun its turning arc, then uh, that's how you do it. But if we're not fast enough, then you can't dodge it. And the closer we get, the less likely we are to dodge. Just kind of clips us and then probably hits some of their own units as well. These guys here pin us down so we can't get at it. But we're about to go. And we're going with this. So yeah, I definitely think the Luminarchs were doing the worst to us. Does about 100 damage. Now let's just hope that this actually gets removed. No, 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 come back here. Quick. Quick before it leaves. And the debuff is unfortunately permanent. There might be another one around, but I feel like it's just permanent now. That sucks. Oh well, the bug strikes again. We're not going to get much more magic regen now. There's no way for me to take it off. Still, with the magic, we've managed to dish out at least a thousand kills. And we can still get one or two more in. Still got Sword of Cain as well. That may have been a waste. But now we just gotta inflict the- oh, they're still bringing in reinforcements. Battle should be almost over the- oh, is that another Luminarch? Okay, cool, cool. With another Luminarch, we have another chance to get rid of this debuff. Cause it's still got- oh, we don't have much reserves anyway, but still. It would be good to get rid of it. Yeah, Demogriff Knights are not gonna let us get away there. So really, what it comes down to, using the horse or being on foot, is that if you use the horse, you'll dish out more damage. Because you won't get disrupted as often, but you'll also take more damage. But if you go on foot, it's the opposite. You'll take far less damage, but you also dish out far less. Just because you're getting constantly disrupted, not because each of your hits actually do less damage. Pretty good opportunity that I think we missed. All right, I'll wait. Can I get these goddamn handgunners? They're doing tons of damage to us. Okay, we're almost at our regen cap. Maybe burning head might be better. Just. Kind of want to be conservative with it now. Okay, that was a good one.
Come on, get to that Luminoc. No, can't get at it. That looks like it's going to be a fairly good cast. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, I would have preferred it to go that direction, but this one here is actually still really good. Why can't they just hit their own units there? The Demogriff Nurses won't give us any mobility. Uh, the Hellstorm Rocket Batteries will actually help us out a little bit here. And there's the Army Losses. I still gotta get rid of Volkmar though. We almost managed to do it without using up our regen cap, but we're at about the same amount of health going out of this as we were going into it. So Volkmar's got a really low chance of hitting us. And every hit that we do to him is worth about 500 damage. And that's with that's with extra ward save. So once that goes, we'll do even more damage to him. Probably, probably more like 700 damage. So let's see. Yeah, about 700. And there we go. So that wasn't really a surprising result. I think no one's going to be particularly surprised by seeing Archeon totally dominate this sort of situation. Um, hard to say if being on foot or being on horse was actually better. It definitely took a lot longer because we were on foot. There's no doubt about that. But I feel like if we had gone on Dorgo, we probably would have actually used up more of our, our health. So I guess it's just up to you if you want, if you're really, really impatient, if, you, if you're going to do this, um, going on on horseback might be better. Especially if you go up against something like um, dwarfs, because at least the dwarfs are so slow that you can just keep outrunning them. Unless they've got slayers. If you've got too many slayers, definitely go on foot. So that was three full stacks, wasn't it? Yeah. And these are about as good armies as the Empire is ever going to send at you. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh wow, it's like the fucking Empire Invasion, and it's in the Chaos Wastes. Okay. So, let's have a look at how he's been leveled up and... Yeah, so we didn't even put a point into Dorgo. So Dorgo also would have given him about a thousand extra hit points. Yeah... I wouldn't have gotten that, because if you're going to make him a one-man doomstack, uh, you've missed out on a bit of extra melee attack there, and some charge bonus. Lightning strikes, good, that's fine. Um, didn't really need missile resistance here, essentially at cap. So, why didn't you wear the crown? Because it doesn't have ward save. Yeah, it would have given you melee attack and melee defense, but no ward save. Alright, that's fair enough. You know, for the one-man doom stack. And the passive ability, yeah, you don't need that. Um, yeah, you didn't need any of that for to this. Uh, looking at this, just to see if there was a better item. Forbidden Rod could have made things a little bit quicker for us. But it also would have damaged us just a little bit, because I think that does da magic damage. But still, would have weakened us a little bit. Channeling Staff might have been better, just so we could have used sort of Kane a bit more often. 
Wand of Jet's not particularly good if you've got Sword of Cain, because it, you'll slow down the rate of using the Sword of Cain. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's, uh, that's, uh, let's have a look at the traits, I didn't look at that. So, let's see here. Yep. Of course you need that, yep. Yeah, of course, you need the Sora Smarter, need that extra um, melee defense. Public order is useless to us. Bonus for infantry, it's good. Yep, that's good. That's a good one to get. And same with Helebron. Yeah, hunting down Nakai is going to be difficult for you, but that's usually one that I look for as well, because that extra melee defense will help. But with 115 melee defense, um, anything that has like around... I don't know the exact number, but say 40 melee attack or lower um, has the minimum chance of hitting um, Archeon, which is to say only a 10% chance because it can't go any lower than that. You can't you can't get like a thousand melee defense and it'll just block any attack no matter what. Uh, there's always a 10% chance of hitting even if the person's melee attack is zero and your melee defense is a billion. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of this one. Uh, I'm going to rate this 10 out of 10 because there's no real major downside um, even on Legendary Difficulty, getting the Sword of Cain as as the Warriors of Chaos. Diplomatic relations with all factions, who cares? Uh, minus 8 public order, that doesn't affect us. And upkeep cost plus 10% for uh, Archeon, well for um, Warriors of Chaos, actually doesn't matter that much as long as you're fighting loads of battles. Because you actually don't have that much to spend money on. Your army can be reduced in upkeep cost by so much. I reckon this one here hasn't finished his... No, oh, that seems a bit expensive. I don't recall them being that expensive. Why is that so much? Well, he hasn't got this one here. But yeah, you can... It just doesn't cost that much, I, su I suppose. Um, to field lo lots of uh, Warriors of Chaos Army. So it's just not that big of a deal for them. Anyway, that's the end of this one here. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. I don't want to get any more RK on <laughs> one-man Doomstacks. I've actually been sent in a lot. But I chose this one because it was on foot. And I, I don't think the other ones were. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.